The next part is these next four measures. And we're starting from that roll down we left off in the previous section. Okay, so the first chord here is C major. So E, G, C inverted. So going down A. Two black keys, D, D sharp, F sharp, C. Note that it's we're we're staying with the same. So C is played in both chords. Going down one note, G. And here we're back at uh, E minor. And then F sharp. And now we're playing F sharp octave and A sharp. So, so again, we're starting from A sharp. And now we're moving away from the bass. We go in here, we're pressing F sharp again. G sharp C and G sharp B. So F sharp, G sharp B. And then these two black keys, A sharp and C sharp. So again. play these three chords. In the notes, it wants you to play this first chord arpeggiated, meaning instead of playing it all three notes at the same time, it wants you to play it quickly note by note. And I'm I'm actually gonna, we're gonna learn right hand separately, but I want to show you how to play it arpeggiated with the right hand here. I actually prefer to play this whole chord arpeggiated with the right hand. And instead of playing with the right hand B, D sharp, I first play D sharp and B. So I'm sort of arpeggiating from high to low, and here I arpeggiate from low to high, and it sounds very nice. So, okay, so it's a B octave with F sharp, and then we switch to C, F sharp remains and A sharp. So it's the same chord twice. And now the roll down again, back to E. So again, let's start from the beginning. We start from Okay, now you're probably wondering 
why did we play the roll down here with two hands, but we're playing the roll down here with one hand. And as you notice that the F sharp here, we actually have a long finger to play it with. We have pinky playing E instead of E sharp, for example. So for your hand, you actually have enough length of your fingers to play these five notes all together with one hand. So we don't need to use our right hand to help. Here, we don't have the length of the pinky to play A sharp. We have to move the hand, it's very inconvenient. It will make a lot of mistakes, but to learn it quicker, it's easier to play two hands. But here, you play with one hand. You don't have to move your hand anywhere. Okay, let's go to the right hand. So notice that uh, we're gonna be playing same chord, it's a C major chord. And here's an interesting tidbit. Uh, we're playing However, because, remember at first, in the beginning, we had this chord to play. And this is actually hard to play using your second and the fifth finger. Because you have to rotate your wrist. Here, we could actually play using our second finger, because we're playing this chord. So if we decide to play this chord without moving our wrist, we could actually play C and G with the second finger and the fifth. And we don't have to move our hand to play these two notes. So what, what I mean is, instead of playing with the first finger and extend and rotate, we could play because it's easily easy to reach this chord. But there is an interesting nuance with that, because if we play it with the first finger, then the notes say we should be playing C and F sharp. And that's correct because it's easier to play if you're using the first finger. Now, if you're using the second finger to play C, G, and use first and third on the G and E, then it's actually easier to play C and F sharp with the second and the fourth. But because the hand is not really stable here, I suggest that you play A with it. So instead of playing, play. And it actually adds a little bit of color to the chord. Um, I like it, I do play it because I like playing it with the second finger here. If you're playing with the first. So I guess it's personal preference. Um, I, I enjoy playing it and I play uh, this chord with A added. The notes say you just play these two notes. I suggest you play it a little bit easier. Okay, so we start C and G, G and E, back to C and G, C and F sharp. This chord, so D sharp, F sharp, and C. Okay, and and back to E minor, E G B, and the notes say you should play this arpeggiated. I I like that. I like that it's a little bit arpeggiated here. Adds a little bit of color to that drawing too. 
So. Or if you don't want to arpeggiate, it will sound like this. Okay. Or I like arpeggiated, but personal preference. And then we go here. This chord here, A sharp, C sharp, G. And going lower, G sharp, B, D, and F sharp. Four notes here, G sharp, B, D, and F sharp. And again, the same chord as previous. So we were playing this, this chord, we're just shifting down, same chord. So. Okay, so F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E. And as we've saw it in the left hand, we play I play this this part I play arpeggiated. I like how it sounds. Instead of playing it together, I first play D sharp then B. So instead of I actually prefer You can play personal preference. I like it. I like it arpeggiated. So we play B D sharp, and we alternate it, alternating via F sharp here. So it goes to A sharp E. If you use fourth finger on F sharp, uh, it a little bit of wrist rotation, but uh, probably the easiest to play. Still, you need you need to use fifth finger on the on the B. Okay, again, going to beginning. So let's put two hands together slowly. So we start from the roll down here. Here's one other tip that I would suggest if you wanted to play it this way. I actually prefer to extend the bass notes. So I use sustain pedal for that. Instead of playing this sounds sort of cut off. I extend this by using the pedal. So I played um, Every first note I sustain it. So okay, don't have to play that, but um, I like it this way. If it sounds bad and you just want to play it staccato, that's fine too. Let's move to the next part. 